Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Web Gear Review. I'm your host, the Web Gear Guy. Today, I'm going to take a look at some more of the M1956 gear. Now, this particular thing that we're looking at here, this conglomerate of straps here, a lot of people may not be interested in this, but however, this is part of the M1956 system. What we're looking at here is the correct nomenclature would be sleeping bag assembly carrier M1956. Now, I don't know how good you can see these, that information, but this particular set has a DSA number, which is a contract number of 1970, okay? Now, this can clobber, can, collaboration of straps here is a bit confusing but what I'm going to do in this little video here is I'm going to show you how to hook this up now the federal stock number is 8456-647-0851 okay now this was sleeping bag carrier was made uh, in OD number seven cotton webbing as you can see Okay, it what this carrier does was allow you to hang a sleeping bag on the M1956 suspenders. As you see in the uh, loadout video of the first pattern equipment that I uh, have made. So you might want to go check that video out also. Uh, but what a lot of people don't know is the M1949 Mountain sleeping bag was used in Vietnam. In fact, in the mountains... Uh, it got uh, the Central Highlands. It got quite cold up there. But however, most of the U.S. infantry soldiers used the combination of the poncho liner and the poncho. And but this system still could carry the poncho and the poncho liner. But just real quick, let me kind of show you how this thing works. Okay, first of all, pull this strap out here. Okay. Let's see if I can do this in a timely fashion, okay? I know when I first seen one of these about 30 years ago, it took me a little bit to figure out how this thing worked. But anyway, it's right there. Take your sleeping bag or your poncho and your poncho liner right there. Pull this strap here. It goes up through the buckle like this down through there, okay? And then you just simply uh, pull it tight, okay? Just a second, bear with me, folks. There you go. All right, get her down. Okay, same thing here. Get your strap, carry through here, right there, pull that around. Okay, you got that part out of the way, okay? Now what you would do is see this right here? You would take this, let me see, yeah, that's right. You take this and you run it up through your straps, up over your shoulders, and it hooks in uh, to the eyelets up there. And there's two ways this can hook to the suspenders. And uh, in fact, I may grab one and show you real quick why I'm at it. But however, in my video about the uh, other equipment, uh, I said there was two ways this could be used uh, right here, okay? And another way is, is if you see, this has a handle on it. So you can actually use this also to just simply carry it by your hand. But see this strap right here? In order to do that, take this strap, pull that way out here like that. Same thing with this one. Uh, pull your adjustment out here, okay? Okay, keep that there. Turn this thing over. Bring this strap up over here. Take this. Hook that into there like that, okay? You will actually, you can find some pictures 
of soldiers who have this very thing mounted up that way. And then you can cinch that. <clears throat> Hook that right there. Bring that around. Snap it in there. Okay. Same thing. Cinch it down. Okay. And that kind of holds the end together like that. You still have your handle right here. Okay. Still have the end of that hooked up like that. See that? And you can actually still hook this to your suspenders on your shoulders like this. The only thing, without hooking those, uh, these, uh, what I call lateral sway straps, uh, you know, it may be flopping like this a little bit. Okay. But anyway, however, that's how this thing hooks up. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how this hooks to the suspenders. Let me grab a set of suspenders. Okay. Hopefully you can see all this in the camera. Okay. These run down your belt. Here's your shoulders right here. Okay. What you do is you undo this strap. You run it through right here on that. Okay. Now I've seen some that just simply hang it from there like that. And that hangs it lower down on your pack in your system and you very well could do that but i believe the proper way is you run it all the way down here you run that strap up you run it through that same one that the ammo pouch hooks to you push it back through there and then you snap it into there that way this quick release is right here sitting on your shoulders if you get in a, a situation where you got to drop this bag because the firefight fires up, uh, you can simply drop the bag. But nine out of ten times, you're not even going to have this thing when you're on patrol anyway. This is just kind of like a marching order type deal. But anyway, see, now that set on your shoulders just like that, okay? And if you hook this up like that on your, your shoulder straps, then you could carry it like this. I've seen actual pictures in the 50s of them carrying them like this okay but the way this is designed is you've got this here on your back you got this up on your shoulders this strap right here hopefully you can let me move this kind of back out of the camera so you can see this strap here is adjustable okay it comes around like this around your side okay and see this right here it comes around your side, and this clips right here in that ring, okay? So it goes around like that, and then you got the adjustable. You can cinch it tight like that. And what that does is that keeps the, the sleeping bag from just bouncing and flopping all around. Actually, it reminds me, uh, if you look a lot of the, at the British equipment, it seems like they got a lot of little straps that uh, kind of, go around the side to keep stuff from flopping and swaying. So who knows? They might have got the ideal from some of that gear. I have no idea. But anyway, that's what it reminds me of. Now look here. See, that comes around your side, clips right there. See, so basically, you got your, your pack. These sleeping bag carriers goes up through there like that, hooks on like that. These go around your side right here. And they hook right into there. Come around your side and hook right into there like that. Okay. Let me get these over here. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. That is the sleeping bag carrier and how it hooks up to the M1956 gear. Thank you for watching the Web Gear Review. And I'm going to do a plug for the channel. I would ask you to subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the like and share these videos if you would. I know the sleeping bag care is not important to a lot of people, but however, it is to me because it is part of the M1956 field gear. Thanks for watching the Web Gear Review.